Hi everybody, Bill Paul is from Profits Run, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the concept of Delta. Now, Delta is one of the most important Greeks when it comes to options trading. And there's a little known or little understood feature of Delta that takes the leverage that options trading has to offer and makes it even better. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So here's a chart of Yahoo, and it's currently early October, and it's trading around 40.90, right in here. Now let's suppose we buy a 38 call option expiring in December. Now this is a two or three strike in the money option. And it has a real value if the stock's trading at 40.92 and the call is the right to buy the stock at 38, then the option has to have a value of at least 40.92 minus 38 or $2.92. It also has time value because we have more than 60 days until expiration. The time value at this point is probably around a dollar. So without looking it up, I'm guessing this option would be worth about $392. Well, that's fine, but what is the delta? Well, with the stock trading at $4092, the delta for this option is around $70. Okay, what does that mean? It means if Yahoo moves up a dollar to $4192, and let's just round it off. Let's call it 42. That means the option price will go up 70 cents. Probably up to 462, all other things being equal. Now, as the price of the stock goes up, let's say to 44. Well, the delta is no longer 70 because this call option is now five or six strikes in the money. It's deeper in the money. So the delta is going to go up to probably in the neighborhood of 85. Now, what does that mean? When Yahoo now goes from 44 to 45, the option price is going to go up 85 cents. So you're getting more long the more the market moves in favor of the trade. And if it goes up to 46, the delta now is going to be 90 or better, 90 to 95. At that point, any further gains, the option price is going to go up almost dollar for dollar every time the stock goes up a dollar. And that's exactly what you want to have happen when you buy a call option. Now, here's the really good news. I mean, that is good news, but here's the really good news. Let's say Yahoo drops now to 40. Now, the delta is going to drop as well probably to 65. And let's say it drops further to 38. At that point, the delta is going to be the equivalent of an at-the-money call because we got a 38 strike call, stocks at 38. At that point, the delta is going to be around 50. Now, this is really good news for the position because even though the stock drops a dollar, the option that you own only drops 50 cents. Let's say it just keeps dropping here to 36. Well, now the delta is probably going to be in the neighborhood of 35. What does that mean? When the stock drops a dollar, you're going to lose 35 cents on the option not a dollar, which you would lose if you owned the stock. And so on it goes. 
So unlike buying the stock, when you buy a call option, the more the market moves in your favor, the more money you're going to make dollar for dollar. And the more it moves against you, the less money you're going to lose dollar for dollar. And that is exactly what you want to have happen. Now, here's the secret, though. By buying the call option instead of the stock, if the market does indeed first go against you, you have the staying power to stay with your position. Whereas if you owned the stock, you'd have to get out. You'd be stopped out. But with the option, your maximum risk is defined by the amount you paid for the option. So even if the stock were to go to zero, you can't lose more than what you paid for the option. And the fact that the delta systematically drops as the market moves against your position reduces the loss in your position and gives you the staying power and the time for the market to turn around and turn that initial losing situation into a big winner. This happens time and time again. Now don't worry about how delta is determined. That's a complicated set of arithmetic driven by the Black-Scholes model. All you need to do is understand this concept. When the market goes in your favor, the delta goes up, making you more and more money. When it goes against you, the delta goes down so that you lose less and less money. That's the power of delta and why I believe trading options correctly is actually less risky than trading stocks. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. For more free training, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and visit ProfitsRun.com. This is Bill Polis wishing you good trading.